Hey guys, this is Chip Joe Coin Investor. In this video, we are going to take a look at the um, Stalliman's price and the fundamental updates that we have received uh, in the past couple of weeks. So, a couple of weeks ago, I re released a video about Stalliman's price, and I'll be honest. I did not expect Stellar to move so fast so those of you who went into Stellar um, two weeks back you're all in big profits right now and so I wanted to make a, a quick video uh, to give, provide you some updates like where we are and where I think the Stellar's price is going to be uh, in the coming weeks or so so uh, right now I've got a good news that we are now above this uh, Ichimoku line which it usually acted as resistance so far you can see that um, this is the weekly chart and it is being fetched from Poloni X Cryptocurrency Exchange so right now we are around 817 sats and till now this line had acted as resistance and there are two lines in Ichimoku both are moving averages and both of them act as act as resistance or as support so if you're below the line they will act as resistance and if you're above them they will act as support so we are now above the blue line and this week we have been able to close above this line so this is really really bullish for Stella however we can see that there's a huge red cloud in front of us and it is definitely going to act as resistance so watch out if we are um, once we reach around 979 sats you can see that here uh, there will be huge resistance however it is very important to keep in mind that if we are able to close above the keyword here is close not touch but we if we are able to close above uh, 979 sats next week or so or in the coming weeks i'll be mega bullish about on the stellar lumens because then the next resistance will be at directly at around 1900 sats so i am uh, one of those guys who look for the long term and that is why i always look at the weekly charts because they give us a huge they give us a big idea like where the price is going to go where is the next big resistance we are not talking about small resistance on the daily time frame or on the four hour charts we are here because we are not day traders we are one of those people who are here for the long term people who do regular jobs so this is the daily chart and as you can see a couple of weeks back we actually broke out from this huge resistance this was acting as a resistance and we were finally able to break we will finally able to have a clean breakout and then we tested this which acted as support instead of resistance now and then we bounced up we bounced higher and now um, this red line and blue line these are acting as support and resistance so red line is now acting as support now but the blue line is acting as a resistance so if you are able to close above the blue line which is about 830 seven sats we can go higher and when you look at the uh, MACD uh, we do see that there is a little bit uh, bearish formation however we can have three waves here as well one two and then three we had three waves here as well in the past one two and three so I think even if we go down for a little bit we will still be able to have another wave so the another wave, the other wave can end around 18th may or so so keep that in mind however keep that keep it keep a quick good look at the btc price as well because if btc shits all coins are going to shit yes telelumens is not special no coin is special because if the btc starts going down if it crashes down to something like 5000 Obviously, the element is going to take a hit because investors like to take out their profits. 
and they'll either like to take their profits in Bitcoin or they like to cash out in USDT or USDC or whatever stable coin they prefer. So keep that in mind. So if BDC either goes sideways, we are good to go. If it goes sideways or it, it goes up, we are good to go. Okay. Um, some of the user asked me to take a look at the Ethereum chart, Stellar Ethereum chart. So I'll open the Binance chart because here we have the most volume. So um, even on the Ethereum chart, this is one of those coins which is able to um, outshine Ethereum in this uh, small bull run. So here we have one, two, and I think there will be third wave as well. So um, the next existence in the ST uh, in the uh, XLM. ETH chart is at 36,000 uh, Ethereum sats, 0 0.0036, and then at you can have a double top at uh, 39. But I will start to take profits around if I was trading in XLM ETH, I will start to take profits around 0 0.0036. So let's look at the some of the fundamental updates that we had. This is the subreddit of Stellar. I really um, suggest you to take to give these uh, give the subreddit a visit because here you will find uh, all these Stellar community members. So uh, just yesterday, Stellar announced an exclusive partnership with Elliptic dot Elliptic dot co. Uh, let's open this. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Stellar.org posted his tweet that they are excited to announce their partnership with Elliptic. Elliptic is a is this will make the Stellar world's first uh, tra the world's first transaction monitoring system is live today to empower the businesses on the Stellar network. This is a huge news because uh, Elliptic is going to partnership with Stellar and Stellar will be the first cryptocurrency that they will be supporting. So this is huge news. Um, next we have is there's some huge announcement that is going to be announced in Singapore. So crowdcast.io. So another huge announce announcement is in the tunnel. And um, Yes, I want to talk about this one. So DSTOQ uh, released uh, their bootcamp app, and this is a huge news. So uh, Stellar Update um, posted about this. Uh, their official app is now finally available for download. So let's read about this. Let me zoom in a little bit. So DSTOQ bootcamp app is now finally available for download. This will give you unrestricted access to stocks, bonds, and ETFs. And here's the best part. All the uh, these assets that you see on the DSTOQ app, these are basically Stellar tokens, and they run on the Stellar ecosystem. This is so bullish because anybody around the world would be able to trade the US stock market now. And all of these stocks are backed by the real stocks in one is to one ratio. So this is huge news and all this is running on Stellar. They did not choose Ripple, they chose, they chose Stellar. And it makes sense because Stellar has so fast um, uh, transaction times, the entire transaction is confirmed in less than five seconds. So that is why probably they chose uh, Stellar. And their iOS app is already available for download. It's available for both iOS and Android. I gave it a go. It's still in the early stages. There are some um, hiccups here and there, but that is understood. Uh, right now, only demo trading is enabled, so they are looking for feedback, and probably in the coming month or so, they will enable the real trading. This is so bullish. You can see in the screenshot here, you will be able to buy Google shares. You will be able to buy Tesla stocks, and all this will be running on Stellar ecosystem. Can you imagine the kind of pump? Stellar can have after the release of the STOQ provide they do some PR pretty sure they will do because uh, 
we can see huge increments in uh, stellar price after the release of this app so keep an eye on this app and I'm really bullish on stellar just because of uh, this app so elliptic they also posted about elliptic stellar partnership so a lot is going on in stellar right now uh, both fundamentally and technically we are really bullish on the monthly time frame um, let me open the stellar BTC chart the sellers have completely exhausted and we have started to finally move to the upside we have found strong support now we have been able to close above this on the monthly time frame and this is only going to propel stellar into the other galaxy that would say <laughs> stellar is really going into stellar now okay so that's all about it hope you uh, liked my video and stay subscribed for more cryptocurrency and uh, icu news and price reviews like these and let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions i'll be happy to ask answer them all right bye bye